<laughs> Will Smith. What was he thinking? Did he think? Or are we all mistaken? Did Will, Chris Rock, and the Oscar Academy pull a stupid publicity stunt? Good afternoon. This is another Declaration of Truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. And in this video, we're going to examine critically the footage, the lead up, make that the setup, and the payoff for the Academy asking Will Smith to stage the scene, or at least the intended payoff, because as you'll see, the Academy has only embarrassed itself further. But before we get into this any deeper, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Conservative News and Views, link in the description. And be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Lots of uh, good patriotic merchandise there, including this t-shirt. The note to legend, Rhino Hunting. Check it out. One shirt for men or women in black, navy, or white, and in all sizes. Look for this and all sorts of clothing and accessories with a conservative and patriotic theme. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the slap heard round the world. Will Smith, of course, was at the Oscars. He was up for Best Actor for portraying the father of Serena and Venus Williams, the sisters who took the world of women's tennis by storm and are still doing it. But last night, he almost threw it all away. Or did he? This much we know. Mr. Chris Rock, on stage to present the Best Documentary Award, made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, or is it Jada Pinkett Smith? She has lost her hair lately from alopecia. So Chris Rock said, Jada, we love you, G.I. Jane, we can't wait to see it, all right? Well, Will Smith didn't like that. So you can see him plainly walking up down a ramp onto the stage, up to Chris Rock, and then he hauls off and slaps Chris Rock across the face. And when Chris Rock says, I just made a G.I. chain joke, Will Smith says, Keep my wife's name out of your fox-trotting mouth. Except, of course, he doesn't say the word fox-trotting. Well, the Academy is mortified, or pretending to be. Quote, the Academy does not condone violence in any form, unquote. And then Will Smith went on to win as Best Actor for his performance as King Richard Williams. Now let's get one thing straight. The Academy membership votes on those awards long before the show. So someone was going to hand Will Smith one of those Crusader Knight statuettes, whether that temper tantrum outburst occurred or not. But the Academy has a code of conduct. Slapping a fellow member breaks that code. The Academy could even throw him out for that. This is serious business. Will Smith knows this. So why do it? Or did somebody put him up to it? Will Smith has made, by all accounts, a brilliant acting career, but lately he once slapped a male reporter who tried to kiss him on the mouth. Now, that kind of thing is an assault in and of itself, but the law says that an adult does not answer a mild assault with a worse one. In fact, the public record shows that this actor has a temper and frequently loses it. Is Will Smith woke? Apparently some YouTube users think that of him and his wife. But if you want to talk about woke, look at how the Academy ran their show. They hired not one master of ceremonies, but three mistresses of ceremonies. Yes, I said mistresses, because the Academy made a big ballyhoo about it. Those three actually said, this year the Academy hired three women to host because it's cheaper than hiring one man. Andrew Bolt of Sky News Australia said he could understand why Russia, and China too, thought the West would be a pushover. Dan Wooten at the Daily Mail had even more scathing commentary. But he had something else too. 
clear evidence that it was a setup, and Dan didn't even realize it as he listed it. First, Will Smith was laughing at that G.I. Jane joke. Only later does he go up onto the stage. Second, watch what he does in the full clip. Notice that Chris Rock gives an obvious cue, and instantly the TV director switches cameras to show a wide angle. Just in time. Something's fishy there. The last time I saw a staged moment like that was in a Perry Mason movie. Third, Wooden quotes Chris Rock, Wow! Will Smith just smacked the Sierra out of me! Wooden then says this, that one could be forgiven for thinking you were watching an elaborately staged skit to begin with, given Rock's casual reaction to Smith's slap and his quick-witted retort. But then as he sees it, when Will Smith screams at Chris Rock not once but twice, that says it was real. No, Mr. Wooten, that is the payoff from the set-off of Will Smith's behavior before the event. I am a novelist, and that's how I know. Do you really think that was spontaneous? Hello! Will Smith is an actor! He spends his waking life in a world of make-believe. That's his job! Add to it. He and Chris Rock have a history together going back years. Do you think the Academy knew that when they asked Chris Rock to present Oscars at that show and seated Will and Jada Smith up front? Look at it this way. The Oscars have been playing to a dwindling audience for years. The Academy knew that. So they needed a big spectacle to revive their sagging ratings. And they got it in spades beyond their wildest dreams. Or did they just dream? Again, look at the setup. Introduction by Venus and Serena Williams. Beyonce singing the theme song to the movie. And then Chris Rock cracks that tasteless joke. In a propos of nothing, as my mother used to say. But Will Smith broke character, laughing at the joke. And then he remembered. And when he walked onto that stage, he had a camera conveniently following him. No accident, folks, and no one even tried to drag him out of there, which would have been right and proper. And today, we learn that Chris Rock will not file charges. He had a perfect right to. Why would he? Because he, Will Smith, and the Academy all worked the whole thing out in advance. But it's backfiring already. Several of my fellow podcasters are already calling for Will Smith to forfeit that Oscar. Now, what's the Academy going to say? Admit they set it up? When they do that, they admit they not only are in their own make-believe world, but they jump the shark. Who will watch their show ever again after this? You can be sure that I will not. Link in the description to the article and to the awesome online store. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another declaration of truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.